What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notification bell, and if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. But let's get into today's video, because we got a serious topic, bro. We got some more news on the Oscar Valdez situation. I want to react to it, give y'all my thoughts, and let y'all know what y'all can expect from your boy. But before we get into it, y'all don't forget about the live show every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, um, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. You got knocked the F out. Episode 9 be coming to you next Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. But let's get to the news, bro. So I did a video earlier today calling on WBC to do something about this Oscar Valdez shit. Since the um, athletic commission that, where they fighting in Arizona decided that they were going to let them proceed with the fight. I called for them to strip Oscar Valdez's ass, right? Called for him to strip him. Called for him to not sanction this fight. And guess what the WBC did? No surprise to me. No surprise to me. They did exactly the opposite, right? The WBC is sanctioning the fight. They're allowing the fight to go forward and they're not... Valdez faces no suspension, no nothing for testing positive, bro. None whatsoever, fam. None whatsoever. So, I don't want to hear shit from nobody about there ain't no racism, there ain't no politics, there ain't no corruption. I don't want to hear nothing. Because here's what I do know, bro. Here's what I do know. I remember Dillian White getting stripped immediately when he tested positive of his interim slash mandatory status. Got stripped immediately, bro. Got stripped immediately for that shit. I remember Dave Benavidez, he tests positive for cocaine, and which is recreational, right? Which actually is to the detriment of a fighter. To the detriment of a fighter. And he wasn't even competition. He had no fight sign. It was just random, some random shit as part of their little clean program or whatever. And he got stripped immediately, bro. Immediately for a drug that ain't even a performance enhancer. Now, I ain't saying nobody need to be out here snoring lines. I ain't saying nobody out need to be out here storing lines, but what I'm saying is where the hell is the consistency, bro? Boxing is a goddamn joke sometimes, bro. Like, for real. Like, let's just, let's not sugarcoat it. Let's call it what it is. Boxing is a joke sometimes. And this is one of those times, bro. So this man gets to keep his, 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 his status as champion. What's the difference between his case and Dillian White, bro? What's the difference between his case and David Benavidez, bro? What's the difference? Somebody make that shit make sense to me, dog. His shit worse to me because what he was on is proven to be something that can enhance your performance, bro. And we've said it, we'll say it again. Fentramine. It's not an over-the-counter drug. It's something you need a prescription for. That's the first thing. The second thing is it helps you cut weight. It increases your stamina. It allows you to work out longer without getting tired. So you, do you think in the middle of training for a world-class boxing um, championship... Do you think something that allows you to train without getting tired is an advantage for you? If you get to train harder and longer than your opponent without needing the same recovery time, bro? You don't think that shit helps some? He tested positive for the shit a week before the fight, so he been training with that shit for Lord knows how long, bro. And the WBC just turn they back, turn they, they out of, they, they, they back on, on boxing like shit. They don't care. They just want the bread. They just want to sanction the shit, bro. So I can't, I, can't, I can't tell nobody else what to do. I can't tell nobody else what to do. But I'm going to tell you what your boy Knockout is going to do. So y'all go ahead and prepare yourself. Because I don't want nobody asking me questions in my comment section, bro. About this shit. So I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. This is what I'm going to do, bro. September, September 10th. We got Philip Hergovich fighting on the zone. I'll be covering that fight and breaking that fight down and breaking that and, and doing a prediction. We got, we got Tony Yoka also fighting. I might do that one. We got Soliman Sissoko fighting. I might do that one. I'm damn sure going to do Raymond Murratala. I like that young fighter. I'm going to do his fight. I'm going to break down and predict his fight. I'm damn sure going to do Xander Zayas. Love that young fighter. That's a damn good young fighter. I'm going to do Gabriel Flores versus Luis Alberto Lopez. I'm going to do Junto Nakatani versus Angel Acosta. What I'm not going to do with your boy not covering, bro. 
And what I'm not going to talk about is a damn fight that shouldn't be happening in the first place. So look, bro, you going you finding out what I think about the shit right now. It's dirty. It's a dirty game. WBC is all the way out of pocket. They all the way wrong. Oscar Valdez, what did he say? I had his quote right here. I have never used banned substances to improve my performance. I have never had. You're lying, bro. You just tested positive for the shit. Like, how you test positive for some shit and then say, I never used no... Bro, you just did. So he a liar. I don't believe nothing he got to say. He a cheater, bro. He is straight up and down cheater. The WBC is in cahoots with his ass. Right? And it seems like, from my vantage point, they in cahoots with the whole goddamn camp, bro. All the favoritism shit going on over there with, with, with the WBC, man. I'm not missing with them. They creating belts and shit for people. They created the franchise belt for Canelo Alvarez. They let him pick his own goddamn mandatory in Avenue Yildirim. room. Now Oscar Valdez is running around here. He get to do whatever he want, bro. He get to lie to our face. I ain't never took a banned substance. You just tested positive a day or two ago, bro. So so that that's that's what I'm going to do. I ain't got no power to change the shit, but if you rock with me, know this. I ain't covering them no more, bro. I will not be doing any breakdowns or any predictions on any Oscar Valdez fight. So if you fighters out there, you know, y'all have the power to do something. You can refuse to acknowledge him until he's punished for what he did, bro. So Shakur Stevenson, please stop calling this man name, bro. Don't even acknowledge him. Jamel Heron, if you beat Shakur Stevenson, don't call Oscar Valdez his name, bro. Don't acknowledge him. He does not deserve acknowledgement until he pays for what he did, bro. And the sanctioning body damn sure ain't going to do it, right? The athletic commission damn sure ain't going to do it. But as boxers and as fans, we have a right to spend our money how we want to spend our money, bro. We have a right to, to watch what we want to watch. And as a content creator, you got the right to cover who you want to cover. I ain't telling nobody else not to cover nothing or not to do nothing because that's your prerogative. You do what the hell you want to do, bro. But me, it's so many fights and so many other fighters. I just cover them, bro. I just cover them. So I'm going to do fights from the card. I'm going to do fights from the card. And I'm going to break them down and I'm going to predict them. But I won't be doing one on him. I will not be doing one on him. What I will be doing is watching the fight and rooting, rooting for Robert Conseyo like he my brother or something, bro. I want him to win. I'm going to openly tell y'all that too. I'm, I want Conseyo to beat the crap out of Oscar Valdez, bro. I just do, fam. Robson. I call him Robert. My bad, homie. I ain't mean to mess your name up. I'm rooting openly for Robson Conseyo, bro. And I ain't scared to say that. I don't care what type of backlash you get. None of that shit, bro. I don't care. Cheating does not belong in the sport at all, bro. It just don't. This is a combat sport. This is literally life or death. And you mean to tell me, like, this man get to go compete for a world title? He get to keep his world title? Y'all don't, don't do nothing at all? They ain't going to be satisfied till they get somebody killed with this cheating shit, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, what if Robson Cancio dominates the first half of the fight and gets tired? And Oscar Valdez gets stronger and stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. Y'all ain't going to be looking at that shit sideways? Because I am. Because I am. I'm going to be looking at it all kind of sideways. Like, come on, bro. What, what if what if come round eight? He, bro, all right. Y'all setting y'all self up for this one, fam. Y'all setting y'all self up for this one. Y'all ain't going to be satisfied till the feds get involved, till, till law enforcement agencies get involved and say, man, this boxing, we done with it. And they just just basically shut down the sport. That's what y'all, that's what they going for. That's what they want to happen with these behaviors, bro. So we ain't rocking with it on this channel. You understand what I'm saying? So there you have it. The WBC, they made their decision. They going to sanction them. They going to allow them to fight. And they don't care. They going to keep them as their champion. Meanwhile, Dave Benavidez got stripped and Dillian White got stripped. Somebody make that make sense. How do you, like, where's the, how do you decide who gets stripped and who don't? I thought if you test positive for anything, you're supposed to get stripped. You're supposed to be, you know, punished. But I guess certain people, they the rules don't apply to them. They don't apply to Oscar Valdez in this situation. And it's a sad day for the sport of boxing, bro. I wish I could come on here and make more videos about all the great fights that's going on this weekend. 
I wish that was the hottest topic, bro. But this is what we got to talk about because this is how sports treats us as fans, bro. So there you have it. That's the news. Oscar Valdez, he, he's still the champion. He's still the WBC champion. WBC ain't got nothing wrong with what he did. He ain't, they ain't got nothing wrong with what he did. He the champion. He can take all the fentamine he want, apparently. He can take all the fentamine he want. He can get his lungs all right. Get his stamina built up the, the, the wrong way. Train all hard. Harder than he's supposed to be able to if he wasn't on the shit. He can do all of that, bro. And then go in the ring and, and, and compete. That's what he get to do. I wonder if other people did the same thing, would they be afforded that same opportunity? Who's another WBC champion who said something? Earl Spence said something. I wonder if Earl Spence did this shit, would it be okay? I ain't saying it would or wouldn't. It's just a question that I'm posing to y'all. If Earl Spence tested positive for fentamine two weeks before one of his fights, would the WBC allow him to fight? Would they sanction the fight? That's my question. That's what I want to know. If Terrence Crawford did this shit, how would they react, bro? Would it be cool if it was Shakur Stevens and Tank Davis, Devin Haney, Frank the Ghost Martin, Deontay Wilder, Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo, Demetrius Andrade? We all saw what had happened to David Benavidez. What if it was what if it was any of these other fighters? I wonder what would happen, bro. What if it was Chris Colbert? What if he had some fencher me going into a fight? Would it strip him? These are the questions we got to ask ourselves, bro. For me, I don't know. I don't know. You'd like to think better of people. You would like to, to not put stuff on people without proof and, and try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But when they keep making decisions like this, you can't get the benefit of the doubt, bro. So I'm forever looking at the WBC sideways. You won't mention me. You won't hear me mention Oscar Valdez. In a positive way, if at all, I'm damn sure not going to cover his fights objectively. And I'm telling you right now, even though I ain't covering the fight, I'm watching it. And I'm rooting for Conseo to beat the dog shit out of him, bro. Beat his cheating ass up. The same way Pacquiao did to Margarito, bro. Beat up cheaters. Cheaters deserve to be beat up. Not be champion and not defend their belt. That's my thoughts. Let me know yours down in my comment section. Comment down below, hit the like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notification bell, and if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. And don't forget about our live show every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace, y'all.